Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, say hi in the comments below and make sure you hit that subscribe button as well because we've got lots of really good things coming up. So I asked you all exactly what it was you wanted to see in my videos. A majority of you said that you wanted to see patterns and where to find them. I've been scouring the internet trying to find some lovely patterns for you which are winter wearables and we have some really really nice ones coming up. So we've got eight categories in total. The first one is children's, then we've got scarves and cowls, then we've got sweaters and cardigans and jumpers. Then we've got hats and headbands. Gloves and mittens is the next one. Then socks, slippers and leg warmers. Trousers, dresses and tops. And finally, we have blankets because everyone wants to see blankets and I don't blame you. So first up, we've got this lovely little overalls pattern. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's by Babes in the Wall Designs. And if you haven't seen them yet, are there any of their patterns yet, head over there. They're on Etsy. They have some absolutely stunning little patterns for babies and I love them. And then we have this cute little cowl pattern. It's a hooded cowl and it's like a dinosaur. So the kids would absolutely love it. Next is this cute little headband. Perfect for babies, for kids, for children, whatever, toddlers, you name it. All those, even for us, us lovely ladies out there who love a little floral pattern. My daughter Rosalie would love this and I think I might actually make one of these for her as well very soon. And then we have this fox pattern. It's a fox cow pattern and I think all the kids down the school will be like, where'd you get that from? <laughs> so if my kids aren't down there with that on. So definitely worth putting in your to-do list. Next up we have this romper. It's a lovely little long sleeve romper as well and I absolutely love long sleeve rompers in winter, especially the knitted ones, the crocheted ones, and they just keep the baby so nice and warm and struggling to put a t-shirt on a baby. <laughs> not fun <laughs> not fun at all so this would be perfect as a gift even if you're not making it for yourself but definitely for a gift i also got asked by one of my lovely subscribers donna bush to find a pattern for her which was made of double knit yarn and as it was a sweater pattern for a baby or for children and i found one i found a couple actually so first up we've got this one and then next up we have this one so these are gorgeous little patterns um, and they're both made using double knit yarn. For everyone in the US, I think that's the light worsted weight yarn because obviously you've got light worsted, which is meant to be comparable to double knit. And then you've also got um, worsted weight, which is meant to be a ran yarn. Uh, there are so many different variables of, of yarn in the US and the UK. I would just like to see the difference myself to be able to tell you exactly what is what and what I believe should be, you know, comparable to each kind of yarn so I will get that done in a future video if anyone wants to send me some yarn from over in America I would gladly receive it and I would definitely do the comparison using your yarn so let me know in the comments below we've got this cute little dragon poncho pattern and I love it look how cute that is I mean it's adorable and who wouldn't want that for their little kid to wear they would be over the moon to get that next up we've got this little romper it's cute it's bobble pattern and I love a bobble, a stitch. And then we use to match the bobble stitch romper, we've got this little pixie hat. And how cute is the pixie hat? Okay, so that's everything for the children's section. Let's move on to the next, which is scarves and cowls. First up is my favorite one, which is this like keyhole scarf. And it's gorgeous. I really want one of these in exactly the same yarn that they've used as well, because it's such a beautiful color. Um, and basically one end of the of the scarf feeds through the other end. Um, so there's like holes made in the, in the scarf and then it just feeds through and, and you can just cinch it up. It's so pretty, so lovely and so, it just auto it screams autumn. One pattern I thought might be really good for, for beginner crocheters is this pattern. And it's just a hooded cowl, but it looks like it's all in double knit. I'm not 100% sure, but it does look like a very simple kind of beginner friendly cowl pattern or hooded cowl pattern. So if you're looking for something like this to make, try this one. And yet another easy beginner friendly one is this one, which looks like a granny granny square kind of pattern to it. Um, so I think that one might be really easy for you beginners out there too. Now onto the more intermediate slash advanced um, patterns. We have this gorgeous diamond patterned scarf and I love it. Most of the time when I go for a scarf, it's gonna be in creams or it's gonna be in the autumnal kind of colors. Um, so the deep reds and browns and beautiful burnt oranges. Now this pattern that I found here for this scarf, I made a cowl not too dissimilar from this and I absolutely love it. I've made it in several different colours and I use it every winter, but I found a scarf pattern for it. So win-win. 
And yet again, for the more advanced crocheters, we have this pattern. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult, but like I said, advanced, intermediate kind of crocheters will love this pattern. Okay, next up, sweaters, cardigans, jumpers in the UK. I love a big fluffy, as well as my fluffy socks. But first of all, for our sweaters pattern, I found this lovely roll neck pattern. Gorgeous, lovely warm and thick, great for winter. The next two that I have are this one and this one. And I think they're just very whimsical, yet wearable. Because obviously there's a lot of things out there that are quite whimsical. You see them and you think, oh, I wish I could wear something like that. And then you know, you don't, you don't actually end up wearing it because you're like, oh, maybe that's not the right place to be wearing it, you know, just day to day. But these I think are possible to wear day to day, which I love because I love anything whimsical. Anything to do with fairies or forests, I'm all about that. It's a lovely long cardigan and it says coat on the pattern. It doesn't look like a coat to me. It looks more like a, just a long cardigan. And I think it's lovely, especially the colors they've used as well. I mean, you could use any colors obviously for this, but the colors that they've used in this one just look so, so lovely. And a pair of jeans, pair of boots, maybe some leg warmers and this lovely long cardigan and you're winning. So the next one I found was a shawl kind of pattern. It's, it's a scarf, but thicker or wider. So therefore it's a shawl. So, and it's got pockets in it and what woman doesn't love pockets. So this is the one I found. I think it's absolutely lovely. I think it is probably more of an advanced pattern. Um, so more for the intermediate slash advanced um, crocheter. And last but not least for our, for this category, we have this lovely jumper. And as you can tell, I love anything off the shoulder, big baggy off the shoulder jumpers, my thing. And this is what I found. And I think I might have to make one of these for myself as well. If I ever get the chance to, um, I'm always making things for everyone else. So if I do, I might make this one. Okay, so for the hat pattern, we have got this lovely headband pattern by the Velvet Acorn. And it can be made in any size. So that's the reason why it's in this one and not the children's one. And then we've got our bobble hats. So you've of course got to have a bobble hat in winter. It's just, you know, it's an unwritten rule. So we've got this one right here. Next, we've got this ball hat as well. And then we have got a more simple kind of hat for the beginners, which is the granny square. All beginners love a granny square. It's it's one of the easiest things you could possibly make. And um, to make a hat out of it, perfect. Why not? So we've got this for the beginners. I also came across this headband, which I've not seen one like this before. Now I've seen the, um, the beanies where you have like the hole in the top so you can, you know, a bun beanie where you can have your little bun poking out the top, but I've not seen it in a headband before. So when I saw this, I thought, oh, that's really, that's really interesting. I've got to show everyone that. So that's why I've put this one up as well. And then again, for our more advanced crocheters, we have got this pattern. Now this one is beautiful. And I used to wear hats like this all the time when I was younger, um, but I haven't worn one for ages. And I thought, oh, cute. Show that one. I found it looks more like a kind of foxy red kind of colour. That lovely autumny red colour that you see on the leaves on the trees. So I love that. So yeah, another bubble hat. We've got this one. And I think it's really cute. It's got the ear warmers for the kids as well. And if you get earache or anything like that, it's always good to have one of those, the ear flaps. So I've popped that one here. Another pattern that I've got is this lovely slouchy beanie. So cute. And it's got a bubble on it. And that's all I've got for the hats. So next category is gloves and mittens. So these ones are for apparently for men so they've got the sizes for men and I love that because a lot of the stuff that I crochet and that I see people crocheting aren't for men. Um, so finding a pattern for a man, yes found it, here it is, grab it. And then I also found the same pattern but for women so we've got this one as well. Next we've got these cute little mittens and they're kind of like a colour work pattern so they're gonna be more for the intermediate um, crocheter slash advanced crocheter because you're going to need to do a lot of different colour changes and that kind of thing. Another pattern that I've put up as well in my Pinterest board is this pattern. It's for fingerless lacy gloves. I've made them as well. They are stunning and I mean stunning. I love them. They go really perfectly with the um, lovely lacy scarf that I had earlier on, this one, and they just look so beautiful together. They're, they're a perfect matching pair. Then I found this one for they're like dragon scale fingerless gloves and they're so cute. My kids saw them, my son saw them and was like, oh, mommy, <laughs> can I have some of them please? My son's obsessed with yellow at the moment so it'd be a golden dragon scale fingerless glove for him. They have got lots of different color variations as you can see on the picture and how they look with different color variations. 
And last but not least, we've got these. And I thought they were kind of interesting because I've not seen ones made with like that circle pattern. So those look like a really interesting make. Now, slippers and socks. I love my slippers. Dragon scales yet again. These are cute. You can't deny it. They're really, really cute. <laughs> and I love them. And they've chosen to make them in green. Um, yeah, again, you can make them in any colour you'd like. You've then got these as well. These are great unisex slippers. Yeah, again, another pattern that you can make for the men in your life. I love that. You love that. We all love that. Now, you know the, blah, 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 blah. Now, you know the long cardigan that I showed earlier? Now, I found these socks and I thought, wow, they would go really nicely underneath the boots with that, with that kind of ensemble. Um, and they are gorgeous. So I would probably make them in a different colour. They're really nice in this colour as well, though. Um, we've got another pattern, which is similar to this one, which is this one. Now, this one, like I said, looks very similar, but it is a different pattern. And they are really, really super cute. They're very nice and long, lovely, warm socks. Um, and I don't know if they'd be too difficult to make either. I've not made them myself, but they do look really nice. Of course, one is like a waffle stitch. The other one is more of a cable. Then we had to put in some normal socks because you have to have normal socks too. You can't have fancy ones all the time. That's not fair, right? And the last but not least, we've got these gorgeous warm uh, leg warmers and I love leg warmers. I know everyone's like, oh, they're not in fashion anymore. But guess what? I don't care because I think they're gorgeous. I want them. I'm going to make them for myself. Okay, next category. We have got trousers, dresses and tops. I found some really cute high-waisted trousers. I love high-waisted trousers. I'm a mum. I've had two children. High-waisted, yes. That's me all over. They're comfy. They hold everything in and they just feel like they're actually on rather than some of those low-rise kind of ones that you get and they're just, they're just not for me anymore. I've, I've changed my ways. I've got these ones and I've got these ones. And they are both high-waisted and they're both crochet, but I don't know, which one do you prefer? Make sure you pop it in the comments below because I'm kind of torn about which one I prefer out of these. Okay, and then t-shirts, we've got this one. It's a long sleeve t-shirt, but obviously it is quite holy. So you'd have to wear maybe a vest top or something underneath it, just to kind of a bit of coverage under there. So with most crochet tops, you've got to wear something underneath anyway, because I mean, it's crocheted, unless it's a single crochet stitch, and then normally it's kind of okay. But anything other than a single crochet, you're gonna see through a little bit. Next up, we've got this one, which is kind of like a shell stitch, and it looks really, really pretty, a nice like lacy little top. Um, and yet again, you'd wanna wear something underneath it, just a bit of modesty under there. And now we've got our dresses. So we've got this one, nice, big, warm kind of jumper dress. Um, you can always put a belt around it as well. So we can make it kind of cinch in at the waist, give you a bit more of an hourglass figure, because who doesn't want an hourglass figure? Then we've got this cold shoulder one as well, which is really cute. And the best thing about it is if you just tuck it under a little bit, it turns into a jumper. So perfect. And now the bit that most people have probably been waiting for, and it is our blanket patterns. Our blanket patterns we have is first up this lovely blanket pattern. It's gorgeous. It's got so many lovely textures to it. If you're making it for a Christmas present, you'd want to make it in some sort of like deep greens, deep reds, a lovely cream colour. Um, if you're making it for a birthday present, obviously their favourite colours. And then we've got this cute pattern, which is by Holland Design, and it's called Annie's Nine Patch Quilt. Trying to get that out as an absolute nightmare. Annie's Nine Patch Quilt. So that's that one. Thinking more along the terms of autumn and that kind of thing, I found this one. This blanket pattern is gorgeous. It's got a lovely kind of zigzag shape to it. Beautiful colours. Autumn, eat your heart out. And then we've got this other design, which is another like granny square kind of pattern-ish. It's squares which are turned to face different directions to give you a lovely pattern. Um, I think probably more advanced beginner, maybe intermediate, something around that, be all right for this pattern. And now I'm thinking more along the terms of Christmas as well. So I found this pattern here. Who loves a gnome? Everyone loves a gnome, especially at the moment around Christmas time, gnomes are kind of everywhere. Um, and I think a lot of people call them gonks as well. So we've got the gonk, got the gonk pattern in there. And then we've got this cute pattern, which is just a very simple kind of three color pattern. As you all know, I love my three color changes um, in my patterns because I get very bored very quickly and changing that often, but not too often. Perfect for me to keep my attention span 
on pace. And remember, you can find all the links to these patterns down below in my description and in my Pinterest board as well. So you can always follow me over on Pinterest if you wanna see any more patterns that I have come across for you guys. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell button as well so you get notified every time I post up a video. Pop over to my community tab, which you'll see a link for if you hop over to my page. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.